What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Josh Lifts, with another video, man. Today is the second video. Um, how are you guys doing, man? I hope you guys are doing good. If you guys are doing good, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. You feel me? Right now, we are currently headed to the freaking gym. I'm honestly excited just for the simple fact that the gym is my favorite part of the day. You know, to be honest with you, I love going to the gym. Um, I just left class right now. My class ended at 10.15. So I'm going to go ahead and work out for about an hour, hour and a half. And then uh, after that, I'm going to work. Because, you know, sadly, you have to do realistic things. But hopefully, this is why you guys can get me popular. I can start making money off YouTube. And I won't have to do that, you know. Because this is, that's the lifestyle I want, man. I want a good lifestyle. I want to be able to just record gym vlogs for you guys make money off that and basically not have to work a day in my life or at least i don't want it to feel like work because it'll still be considered work because i don't think people really understand that editing youtube videos and things like that are kind of hard you know it's not something easy you know editing them uploading them it takes work especially if you're doing something else other than youtube like for me i'm in college and i'm working so it kind of makes it difficult to film film videos. I really hope this audio is good. I can't, I can never tell, but until I look back at the clip and I see that, hey, this audio was good or not, but that's besides the point. Um, today we are doing a back day workout. I was going to work at the rec center, but I don't like the workouts that they have over there. Like not the workouts. I just don't like the machines. Like there's certain machines that they don't have there that they have at my other gym. So sadly the other gym is 20 minutes away. So I'm just going to go over there. Um, and then I have work at one, so I think right now it's like 10.30ish. Probably gonna get there like around 11. So ideally I wanna finish at like 12.15 the latest. So that way I can come back home, eat lunch, and then I guess um, get to work. So yeah, I'm gonna be just showing you guys my back day workout, what I like to do. Um, it's just gonna consist of like Lat pull down. I, I, hold on. Let me. This camera angle. All right. It's just gonna consist of like lat pull downs. Um, I don't really like T-bar row. I'm not really a fan of it. Um, I'm probably gonna do like single arm rows or just like the low row. I don't know all the terminologies and stuff. Y'all are gonna see what I do. I try to at least. I try to train for strength. So I'm just gonna be trying to do at least six reps for each workout um to get my strength up there because i don't want to just train for aesthetics i want to train for oh my freaking thing he's messing up i also want to train for um for strength so but yeah i'm on a bulk i don't really care how i look i don't care how the abs look i will be doing a pump check after the workout so you guys stay tuned for that um and yeah Let's just get to the workout. I'll see you guys there whenever I get to the gym. All right, you guys. So the first warm up is going to be some pull-ups. Uh, I'm going to be doing this as basically like a warm up. Uh, recently, I've been having like an issue called like tendonitis um, on my elbow because just for the simple fact that I've been overusing my elbow a little bit and I haven't been having the proper rest. I mean, me being in college has just been um, basically kind of like it doesn't really work on my schedule. I'm not really able to get the proper rest that I need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do some pull-ups. I'm hoping that I already got enough rest. I took a break off the gym for like three days. So I'm hoping that my elbow basically has healed up. I mean, it doesn't feel bad, but I just wanna see how it's gonna feel when I start to do workouts. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just warm up with some pull-ups. And then after pull-ups, we're gonna get into some lat pull-downs. So let's just get right into the workout. Ugh. <sighs> 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 
As you guys can see, I'm still shaky on some of the movements just because my elbow, I can still kind of feel a little bit of the pain, but it's definitely not near as bad. So I'm just thankful to God. And I just pray that through this workout, I don't get any pain. And if I do, I pray that it's just minimal to just slight pain. So yeah, let's get into the other workout. I'm gonna be doing lat pull down. So guys, we're moving into some lat pull downs. Um, if you have never looked at uh, wrist wraps, getting wrist wraps, they are definitely beneficial to your workout. They're going to help with basically stabilizing and targeting that one muscle. So that mind to muscle connection, basically if I'm trying to target my lats, this is going to prevent a lot of my forearm from using, you know, the strength to pull that weight down. Instead, it's just going to be mainly my lats. So wrist straps are definitely key. You don't have to use them, but they're basically uh, very, how do I say it? Um, you should use them, basically. Do a drop set. you guys we're going to be moving into some low row pull downs All right, you guys, so we're gonna be moving into some shrugs for that upper trap. So I'm just going to be shrugging this movement like this, really trying to target that upper trap. Um, a lot of people end up shrugging, a lot of people end up shrugging up instead of shrugging to the back. Now, there is a, like your traps are like, they're like, uh, how do I say it? Your traps are like a triangle on your back. The shape of them, so when you shrug, you're shrugging back. If you're just shrugging up, you're genuinely like, yes, you're still gonna hit some of the traps, but you're not getting a, a better contraction. If you just lean, you're gonna get a better contraction if you just lean forward and you really just do that shrugging up motion. Trust me, just try it and you guys will feel a definitely big difference. Uh, I'm gonna be using the wrist straps for these. Like I said, you know, I'm gonna be holding the weight in my hands. So technically speaking, I will be using my forearms and my biceps to hold that weight as well. So I don't wanna have to I want to eliminate as much as that as possible, which wrist straps help that. So 
like I said, mind to muscle connection. Ow. T tell me what you guys listen to whenever y'all work out. Cause currently, I'm just going off my motivation. I don't need no external motivation to motivate me. The video has motivated me enough. To be honest, I don't even have headphones in because I'm using my phone to film this video as you're watching. So leave a like, man. I'm sacrificing my music <sighs> just for you guys. <sighs> Come on. Mm. Basically, a lot of y'all think that you need a lot of time to work out, like three hours. Yo, you're overdoing it. You do not need three hours to work out. To be honest, what you need is some discipline to get off that damn phone and basically figure out how to freaking work out correctly without having to take a break for 50 minutes on your phone while you're working out. Maybe that's what's limiting your slow self to doing a good workout. In a short amount of time, <clears throat> you guys we are going into some rowing movements we're going to be hitting about six to eight reps for this um, basically this is for the middle back so trying to get that uh, Michelangelo back you're trying to get that um, basically Ninja Turtle type of back what you want to basically do is this movement right here uh, I don't like to do a lot of heavy rowing um, with my body I don't like to use my body movement I, on this particular exercise, I like to mainly focus on just pulling straight back, and that's really it, using my back. So let's get straight into it. Yes, sir. Oh. <sighs> 
All right, you guys, we got the low row, heading for six to eight reps. Uh, to be honest, my elbow is kind of killing me right now, but I don't care. Like, I'm genuinely just gonna try and push myself as much as I can to basically just finish throughout the workout. I'm really just trying to thrash my back, trying to kill my back, trying to murder my back, uh, trying to break my back, just like I broke your girls. I mean, I don't know what the fudge I'm saying. Let's just get straight into this workout, man. <laughs> We're gonna go with some uh, underhand pull downs. These are really good for your biceps and your lower lats. Um, I would do more workouts for my back, but I have to go at like 12 and it's already like 11.55. So I just wanna get this workout over with, show you guys the pump. I'm really excited for the pump. I really feel good. Other than my elbow kind of hurting, but we'll move past that, bro. Let me just stop complaining. Let's get to the set and let's do it. Let's do it, let's get it, let's go. All I want to do is show you guys a pump check and basically I haven't been able to do that because I haven't I'm having to like manage my storage and freaking delete freaking everything on my phone just so I could film a freaking pump check. So clearly the universe is telling me no, but I don't give a fudge. I'm hard headed. So yeah, let's just review this pump check. That's the pump check for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're out.